I'm Sarah Jane Heron, and I'm 22 years old. And I'm Addison Cruz, and I'm 21 years old. And you're almost 23. Yeah, almost 23. I'm 5'7", and Sarah's uh, 5'11 five, and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm uh, definitely marrying up. And uh, welcome to our wedding. Uh, we first met Addison in eighth grade when we both went to uh, Lincoln Christian School. But we maybe said a word or two to each other the entire eighth grade. We really started getting to know each other and to meet each other the summer before our ninth grade uh, because we actually volunteer in the same class here at Church on the Move, the fifth and sixth grade class. We, we became friends through that. We like hung out together and, um, and all our friends, we would go see midnight movies together. And I was really awkward back then. and She was really awkward. She was really talkative, and I didn't really like talking to girls at all. We didn't really like each other. We were just kind of friends. And I would always like confide in Addison. I'd be like, hey, guess who I like? Later on, like he, he told me, like, good, as long as it's not me. We went to the same high school dance. It was during one of the slow songs, I and mean, we were supposed to dance with someone. And so I was like, oh, man, I should go dance with someone. And so I went and asked him, like, hey, Addison, you want to dance? And being the gentleman that I was, I said no. Okay, let's go to the next question, I'm sorry. <laughs> we kind of started liking each other junior year. But we did go to our proms together junior and senior year, and we did go to the homecoming dances together. And one homecoming dance was like the football dance during uh, Halloween, and we dressed as Mario and Princess Peach. And I remember the way Addison asked me to, um, to the dance was he made me a cookie, and he wrote on the cookie, will you go to prom with me. After that dance, Addis and I would like call each other, that would be our nickname to each other, Mario and Princess Peach. Like, and it still is today. I asked her out on our first date at Disney World on our senior trip uh, with our high school uh, on the Haunted Mansion ride. And it's kind of like spooky and scary. And as the ride starts, Addison looks over at me and he says, Sarah, if we don't make this out of, out of here alive, I just want to let you know that I really like you. But if we do make it out alive, I just, I want to know if, if you'll go on a date with me after this, and I'm like, ah. Oh. And she said yes, and then we went on our first date, and then we started dating, and before we knew it, we were in a relationship. Uh, after we graduated high school, we both went to different colleges. I went to a junior college, and Addison went to ORU. One um, Valentine's Day, I couldn't come home that day, and it was like on a Tuesday or something. And so Addison um, and I talked, okay, let's Skype that later that night. Uh, like I'll wear like my print like a like a fun dress and he can like dress up so we can dress up and talk to each other like we're going on a date but it's just over Skype. Uh, I went to my dorm and I like, was about to go on the computer and my roommate at the time, Melina, she told me like, hey, you need to go out in the the dorm lobby. And so I go out to the dorm lobby and I see Addison playing on the piano in the dorm. He surprised me. He came, he drove like two hours to come see me. He made me a full sheet cake and brought me Hershey kisses. We wanted to wait a year and after we started dating to have our first kiss. But then after a year, I was like, let's wait another year. So we waited two years and then I said, well, let's wait a little bit more. <laughs> our first kiss was November 11th, uh, 2012. And it was a Sunday afternoon and Addison took me ice skating and to a lovely afternoon lunch at the school's cafeteria. And I uh, told Sarah she had to put on this blindfold and I'm like, why are you telling me to do this? You know, driving 10 minutes, 20 minutes, ended up being like an hour, and we ended up at Skytook Lake. Uh, once we got there, I uh, had her take her blindfold off, and then we started inflating these inflatable mattresses. I'm like, whoa, what are you planning? What are we doing? I don't think this is appropriate. It sounds bad, but... Um, <laughs> but then we inflated these inflatable mattresses, and then we stuck them on the lake and then we sat on the lake, um, on the mattresses on the lake, and I had these little speakers, and I played the song Kiss the Girl on my little iPod shuffle on these speakers. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's gonna kiss me for the first time, this is gonna be so awesome! And so I'm sitting there waiting, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna let him kiss me, like, I'm just sitting here, look, look good, and, and so as I'm sitting there waiting for him to kiss me, the song plays, and song plays and I'm waiting and then the song ends and I'm like, okay, he's gonna kiss me. It was really nerve wracking. I didn't know how, um, how hard it would be. Uh, so the song played through once and then it played through again. At the end of the second song, he, he uh, gets the courage and he kisses me finally and we're like, oh, first kiss for both of us. And so 
Uh, that was really, really fun and exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sarah wanted me to be the first one to say I love you to her. And so, but she really also wanted to say I love you to me at the same time. So she would not say I love you, but like she would write it out like I heart you and then she would make little heart signs to me. And technically she didn't say it yet. And then she accidentally said it a few times, but those didn't really count. So this went on for probably a year or so, and I still hadn't told her I loved her yet. We went kind of slow at a slow pace, so I could be in really involved on campus at ORU. We had both been on mission trips that summer, um, separately and apart, and so I think being um, apart from each other like that for a long period of time um, helped us to realize how much we missed each other and really like appreciated each other. So I really started thinking about you know, taking the relationship more serious and also praying about, you know, if I should marry her, ask her to marry me, or all of that kind of stuff. Let's restart. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I finally uh, just told her that I loved her and decided that, uh, that I loved her and that I thought this is the step forward that I was ready to take. And of course she was ecstatic. She was really surprised that I finally told her after like, the year or so of telling me, not telling me, but really telling me. <laughs> uh, she, yeah, I find she was really happy that I finally told her that I loved her, and she, you know, told me too, and she almost teared up. It really began to like hit hard, realizing like, hey, this is like I want to marry this person. I really love him. I really did want to marry her, and I really did love her, and I didn't really want to. Um, keep going through life being single without her. So I started looking for rings and uh, I bought one and started playing my proposal and about three months after that, I proposed to her. Addison proposed to me on October 6th, 2013 and you wanna tell them about it? Yeah, so a few months before that, I had given Sarah a coupon for a free adventure breakfast and she never used it. Um, for whatever reason, and so one day after church, I pick her up from volunteering on Sunday at church, and we're driving, and I said, Sarah, you never used that coupon for the free adventure breakfast, so uh, we're going to use it right now for a free adventure lunch. And yeah, so, I was pretty excited about that. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Little did she know what would happen. Um, so I took her to Turkey Mountain, and we actually went off of Turkey Mountain, a little a little a spot along the river where no one goes. We get there and I say, okay, sir, put on the blind, put on a blindfold. Uh, I don't want you to see what I'm <laughs> cooking for you. Yeah, and I thought, this again? So I'm like, I wasn't like surprised, like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> she gets blindfolded, you know, I'm just making small talk with her while I'm getting stuff to cook ready. <laughs> while I'm doing that, my friend who's filming the whole thing starts walking out from behind the bushes Sarah said, what's that noise? And I said, what yeah. noise? Oh, it's probably an armadillo. Um, I just like believed him. I'm like, oh, those armadillos. <laughs> I, I had that story prepared in advance because I, oh, nice. I knew that would happen. You had an armadillo. You like planned to say armadillo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, and so my friend starts like filming it and I, uh, I get out this little camping stove that my friend let me borrow and I start making a pizza on it because pizza is her favorite food. And I actually... Um, I make the pizza um, and I cut out the middle so it's shaped like a donut and put the middle on top and put sausages on top so it's like a diamond ring pizza. Um, and then I change into a suit while she's blindfolded um, and then I uh, got some flowers that the cameraman uh, gave me that I had given him in advance. They're my favorite too. Oh yeah, you your, get my her, favorite. your favorite flowers, yeah. chrysanthemums. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then I kind of spread out this nice blanket, and put the pizza there, um, <clears throat> put the flowers, and then spelled out with Hershey Kisses, will you marry me? Yeah, um, and the whole time, like we're just talking normally the whole time. And like, I'm not suspecting anything. It's just like so funny. And it had been like 45 minutes of just talking and him making something. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, and I had to, I, it was hard for me to like act like everything's normal, just have normal small talk because I'm yeah. like doing all Preparing. this stuff. Like there's a camera, one of my friends like right there, and she has no clue what's going on. Yeah, and I think my favorite is he like changed into a, like a full out suit, like, and he had everything stuffed in his backpack, like everything. <laughs> and so I don't know how like it just worked out perfectly. Like 
He's like, you look really good. Had the pizza made for me. Yeah. Nice. And so before I told her to take the blindfold off, um, once I got everything set up, I, was, I told her that I was going to read her a journal entry that I had written her, um, that I had read to her before from when she was on uh, the mission trip that summer. I mean, I kind of spruced it up, made it more proposally. Um, so I read it again, and then um, once I read it, uh, I told her that she could take the blindfold off and see the food. Um, yeah. And I was on one knee with the ring. <laughs> yeah. And so when you, when you told me to take the blindfold off, I was not expecting him to like propose to me at all. I had no idea that you were going to do that. And so I look at him and like the scene, and I just sat there in shock for like, for like a couple seconds. And then I threw the, my blindfold at him because I was just like, what? And I threw it at him. And I didn't she say- She said, are you serious? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Are you serious? And then I didn't say yes for like 10 or 15 seconds, just cause I was like in shock. And so you're sitting there waiting for me to give you an answer and I didn't say anything. But then finally I said, yes. And I came over and hugged you and we kissed and I'm not eat the pizza <laughs> <laughs> yeah. after that. It was, it was good. good. It was good pizza too. Oh, yeah. It was really good. <laughs> he knew, he knew what I liked. Uh, afterwards we went, um, to his house and he he's like oh we should probably go like say hi to my parents and you know I'm like oh okay we'll, we'll go say s show them everything that happened and we get there and it was like a surprise party for me they're like all my really good friends were there his family my family and so I had like two really big surprises that day and now we're getting married today God's really blessed us with like awesome friends and family and and definitely like thank everyone that's here today. Like today we wouldn't be here without you. So we really thank you and like thank you for joining us on our, our special day, our, our day where we really like make this, you know, we're like getting married. So thank you for coming today and like being here for us for us at this in this moment. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, is that all you wanted to say about that? <laughs> I think so. I think that's good. Is that good? Is that so? Okay. Sweet.